Hello, a uh, very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekend Show. I'm Matt Lee, in case you don't know who I am, um, DXTL TV from the Touchlands, and also, <coughs> excuse me, SoundCloud, which was played up a bit yesterday. So what happened? It's done about 12 minutes of recording. For some reason, it switched off. I don't know what it is. I think someone, or I may have knocked it, stopped it, I don't know. And then I had to finish this show, and then I had to go on and re-record, or not re-record, out of recording on yesterday's show. So if you had a little break in SoundCloud um, on audio, so, so sorry, um, but it's one of those things, so I've got to keep my eye on it, and you can shout and scream. If you see the red band disappear, get me, get me, get my attention, start waving, and I'll have a little look, and then I can stop that, and then continue where it stopped itself. So fingers crossed, it will continue to record today. And today, we need to really, because it's the biggest day of our calendar from Don't Cross the Line. This is where the Premier Games match officials wear our t-shirts during the warm-ups around the Premier League grounds. Massive, massive thanks to Everton Football Club who are putting it in the programme today. And Liverpool, I think they put it on the website and just giving us an announcement about what we're trying to do what we're trying to achieve with our referees within grassroots football we're trying to support them and keep them within the game and it is working my honest opinion and i think you'll find that the likes of liverpool county fa all the county fa's have found it it's getting a bit better around premier league grounds you could say are there less treat teams are they walking away are they folding i've seen a lot of posts recently about teams folding but we'll save that for another day we'll go into detail on that and we might have one or two guests coming in and we'll discuss that as well and um, so let's go for it kirby league john o'leary league i'm sure they'll be supporting their respect awareness weekend today and we'll have other leagues north liverpool jfl let's hope they're supporting i'm sure they will they'll put it on their twitter page let everyone know make them aware of the support that we require to support our referees within the game, on the field of play and off the field of play. And also, we have the girls' league that will be at the North Liverpool JFL, which is Geoffrey Humble. They'll be supporters. Uh, one or two leagues I know will not support us because they're too proud. They don't believe that anything goes on towards referees. I'd like your opinion whether your league wanted to support it or not. Because if your league doesn't want support regarding you referees, what are you there for? What are you there for? We're there to try and protect you. They could say, well, sitting in their hut, we're protecting them anyway. We don't have any problems. And if these referees go through a problem, but you shouldn't be put on the pedestal. You should not. You should be able to walk out there and think, I know it's going to be great today. Not walk out there and think, is it going to be kickoffs today? Are the parents, spectators, the managers, the Kids, are they going to have a go at me today? Or is it going to be nice and quiet? I bet every game you go into, you expect that. But if you've got the leagues really going Motown, like the North Liverpool GFL, they'll work, walk with us, talk with us, and we'll walk around games. And even if we're separated, I can see something going on. We'll go and get the committee, and we'll deal with it together. And I've stood there, taking on an IRA manager, or parent, should we say, with the committee themselves, and we've won it hands down, and that's the support that you need for referees on and off the field of play. So all we ask you, as a league, please just put on there, National Respect Awareness Weekend, we're supporting it, we need to keep our referees within the game. Thank you to all the team, to all the managers, to all the committees, to all the coaches. Simple, and you don't have to do anything else, and I'm sure... Managers will remind parents, spectators, that this weekend is a big weekend. Protect your referee. Make sure that referee is looked after. Go out there, take images with the team at the end of the game. Shake the referee's hand. Make them feel welcome before the game and after the game. Do not abuse the referee. That is participation at its best. Do not abuse the referee. Attitudes make a difference on and off the field of play. Make your good attitude count today. You need to. You need to. 
We need all our referees today and every day and tomorrow supporting each other, supporting what we're talking about, don't cross the line. And we need everyone in grassroots football. We don't need that. We don't need that because we know there's a problem if we hear that while we're out and about at grassroots football. We don't want to hear that. We want it nice and silent and we want everyone to enjoy the game, whether it's a tournament, whether it's a league game, whether it's a cup game, whether it's a friendly. Go out and enjoy it. Feel good with your child, making sure that your child is smiling. And at the end of the game, you say, did you enjoy that? Yeah. Is that not what it's all about? Kids enjoying football, kids playing the game of football, you encouraging them, you supporting them, not just your child, every other child. That's what it's all about. Because don't forget, they are teammates. They should be. They should be teammates working together, making a difference. And if they're enjoying what they're doing, that's the be all and end all, isn't it? With kids, with yourselves, with us, with everyone. And the coaches and managers can actually relax, sit back, take a back seat and say, fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this. Every moment we have had today and every day has been fantastic. So, let's know how your game went, how the first day of Respect Awareness weekend went. Malatontextiline.com Add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or the social network site. Let's see if grassroots football can go clean without cards, without sim bins, without yellow cards, red cards. We just said that, but the colour makes a difference to me. We want to hear more about our green cards, our green cards, which shows loads of respect on and off the field of play. Stick together, wear together, play together and enjoy and laugh together. That's what we want to hear. When you go out there, you're still on your Easter holidays and I know many teams are going to be short, including ours this weekend because of holidays. What more could you do? And I think one sickness as well. But what can you do? <clears throat> You'll have to go on, grin and bear it, and make a game, a special game if you can. Get involved, play, enjoy. That's what I like to hear. And make sure that you support your referee on and off the field of play. Don't argue, don't question them. If you do question them, make it friendly, make go out there as a manager or coach and then ask them the question and just say, fair enough, that's all I wanted to know. Not your parents, don't ask them to approach them unless it's all about thank you very much for refereeing, officiating our game. It was brilliant. It helped the game flow, the teams enjoyed it, you had the, the authority on show and you used it. Fantastic. That's it. It's lovely to know that you can go to watch a game and you know that the referee is there, but you don't look at the referee, you just watch the kids and right the way through the game. That's it. Ignore that the referee is there. Don't start. If you hear the whistle, tell your kids to back off. Don't have your kids arguing with the referee either. That does not help. <clears throat> any situation whatsoever. Kids as young as seven start answering back towards the referee, what's that for? Do you know what it's for? You shouldn't have to explain. The referee shouldn't have to explain. But I do like to see referees as well working alongside the kids. Talk to the kids and explain. You do see a lot. That's for the file. You shouldn't have done that. You should have backed up. Don't approach me like that. You stand away. Nice and friendly. Nice and friendly. That's the way you have to be. Kids will understand what you're doing. They'll enjoy it. Like when I refereed as a manager the other week, kids were talking to me on the pitch. They're talking to you, you've got to answer them, you can't ignore them. Ask me questions. How long have you been doing this? And you're looking and you think, get on with the game, go and enjoy the game. <laughs> it's what kids are. They forget they're in a football match. They really do. It was enjoyable, it was hard work for the simple reason is I had to try and control a match. Yeah, I had to. It was mad. It was mad. But, what more could you say? What more could you say? It's all about the kids enjoying the game and developing their skills. And it's all about the referees as well enjoying the game and developing their skills too. I've been talking to quite a few referees and I always say to them, young referees who are just starting, 
what do you want out of it? And obviously the first thing is obviously money because they're still kids themselves and you'd expect that. You expect that. But you'd ask referees, did he want to carry on, continue, get to the next level, make a difference, make a bigger game of it? And you, you know who's there, who wants to make a difference, who wants to take up officiating professionally. And there is, I think there's only one or two that I've talked to who want to take it further. Good luck to them. Callum Sutton is one, young referee, 15, 16, just going on 16 years of age. If he keeps it up, he's definitely going to make it. Honestly, absolutely up there, knows the score, knows the laws of the game inside out, and he puts them directly to the use that they should be used. Everyone agrees with him, everyone looks at him, everyone comes back and says, what a referee there. He will get a little bit of stick, he's come to me and said one or two of the parents were having a go. It's wrong, no matter what. Coaches, managers, you know, we have some great banter, and I do, and I pulled one or two managers about the, the way they treat a referee. And do you know what, they've respected that. And we, week in, week out, we all have a chat. I've been quiet on the line, brilliant. That's what it's about, isn't it? And you find out and you ask the questions. And do you know what, they have been quiet on the line. It's great. You can also <coughs> start accusing the referees of being there just for the money. They're not interested. Well, they're putting the laws of the game together. When you're playing the game, they are interested. What should they be interested in? You can't just blow for a free kick. They don't want that. They don't want to give things away. But if they have to, if they have to, they only see what they see. Same as us. Same as us. And it's in real time. They get one go at it. There's no VAR, there's no playing back, there's no recordings. Or you might have a record, but it's not allowed, by the way. <clears throat> you need special permission to film. And especially if you're filming a referee, say, I've got it all on video, and I'll show you the mistake after. You can't do it. Not allowed. So that referee has not given you the permission to film him or her either. So before you go out with your camera your phone, remember that. Remember that. And you see this as well when parents are fighting. You see it all on social media. It's plastered everywhere. But that person doesn't realise that. Someone could say, I know who sent that into you. I was still there watching them film. You know, it works in roundabouts, doesn't it? And people start getting worried. So we have our consent forms about filming. If we're ever out and about and we want to film a referee or take pictures, we have consent forms that you can come to us and fill them in. That is the way to be because you need permission to film and you should have permission to film. You don't want referees being filmed or kids being filmed without the permission. If you can go up, or the managers and the parents, yeah, yeah, not a problem, because we use them the way they should be used on a website, the way it should be portrayed, kids in action. Not for any um, slander, basically. That's what we don't want. Look at him, look at this tackle. That can't be used, it can't be put on social media. And I think the FA will clamp down if they see pictures on that. And we thank the FA, we thank the PFA, we thank the PGMOL, Liverpool, Everton, um, any of the Premier Leagues that have negotiated and, and done some um, sharing for the games, for the Ref Spect Awareness Weekend. And I suppose, you know, you're looking at this and, and Premier League clubs are on the right go at referees. It makes you wonder, is there a reason why some of these Premier League clubs will not share what we're trying to do for a referee? Because they hold grudges. And they say they're not getting involved in that. I don't know. I'd love to hear why some of the Premier League clubs and even the county FAs do not get involved with something that makes a massive difference. We're just portraying a message to support our referees. And we know county FAs and we know Premier Leagues do things to help, but we're not too sure about whether they help referees within grassroots football. Liverpool Football Club and Everton Football Club have been on board with us since 2003, going into 21 years. And it was thankfully they put in the programme Everton and also Liverpool being put on the website and social media. You can't thank them enough just to get the message, just to portray what we're trying to do within grassroots football. Give a message to everyone out there is when you're out and about like today, North Liverpool should have been 
fantastic. KBJFL, KBJFL, John Lely, KB Lee, everyone should be singing off the same song sheet. And even Lost Stock, we know Lost Stock all, all their teams will be supported this week. Sheffield and District, Junior League, Sunday League will be doing exactly the same. Massive thanks to all of you. Everyone who's doing that, Bolton and District shared a post our, our video. Share it again, get that out on your social sites. Get it out and let them say, wow, what a video. It just gives you that message that we want to portray. It's a unique message and makes a difference. That can be used week in, week out. Just go onto the link, tell them, there's the link, have a look at that video. Share it, get it going and release it. That's what it's all about, making a difference. And now that we've had the views on YouTube, we are now about to release that video on some social media. So I'll send that to the FA, to the PGMOL, get them all sorting on it, get them all talking and let them share and share a like. Get it on the social sites, get it on your media site. That's what it's about, having a look at a video. Because I know some will not. We sent the link to make it ours. Others will get that video on their, their post and claim and get all the hits that they can because it does make a difference and that will go worldwide, I assure you. The video is there to make a difference. We want you to make a difference on and off the field of play. We want you to give the passion where it's due. We want you to support, clap, as much and friendliness but please let's get on to the referees as well if anyone saw the referees of the Premier League today wearing our t-shirt and took a picture send it into manatontextline.com social media Facebook put it all out get it out get the word out there if you're a manager to coach your team run the team put the message out look after your referee today support your referee today take a photograph shake the hand of the referee make a difference Today, tomorrow, if you've got night games, friendly games, they go on till 10 o'clock and hopes. Remember, if you've got a referee, it's about respect. Please, please. We'll give you more on updates about North Liverpool tomorrow, what we saw, um, and whenever your league is playing a game, remember, keep the bookings down. Team, support your referee today. That's all it's about. And what it's about, support it your referee. We need your support. The National Respect Awareness Weekend making a difference, making a massive difference. Betray it, support it, share the video, get the video liked, tell us what you thought of it, give your thoughts. We'll be doing more videos in the future. We'll be using Lauren, she's brilliant. But in the meantime, when you're out and about, at a junior football game. What even amateur? The referee, honestly I've seen some of those referees in the amateur game. The stick that they do take, they need, wow, gold medals to say the least. Honestly, that is tough. It's tougher than the kids games now because we have a lot of people walking around. People ask me why when you do the amateur games. I've done the amateur games, I've walked around and I've seen it. And boy, it's hard to make a difference there because everyone, is really, really having a go. And I don't say just on Merseyside. This is all over the country. This is why it's a national ref spec campaign. And I say thanks to Daryl, thanks to the North, to the North Liverpool GFL All the Committee, supporting the KB League All the Committee there as well. The John O'Leary, KB League, the JFA um, Football Club, they've been supportive. They've done a fantastic job in support. They've got kits with respect on same as DXTL, respect on their people that start to stand up and be counted and make a difference and start wearing the kits. That's what they're trying to do to support our referees. So when you're out and about, and especially tomorrow, the Sunday leagues, please make sure that you adhere to the respect awareness campaign. And as I say, if you're out at the Premier League ground or even, and you see an amateur referee wearing our T-shirt, photograph it, send it in, Get on board with us and you could be in, in a chance win a nice prize for your team. Please get in touch with Mal at don'ttakethelime.com. In the meantime, thank you very much, so much for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow evening around about 7pm. 
from myself, Marlon, all the team here at the Grassroots Club, the Grassroots Show, Don't Cross the Line, Respect Program, and our No Ref, No Game. We'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Good night, God bless.